Hi, Kingdom. Welcome back. <laughs> I want you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And today I want you to know that anything you do, before you do it, you got to pray on it. You have to pray on it. If you have a decision that you are needing to make, if you have a change that you're needing to make, if you are going to start a new job, you're going to start a new business, you're going to get into a new relationship, you're going to get out of a new relationship, you're going to buy a big purchase, something that is going to change your life, you got to pray on it first. You got to put God first and foremost in the center. And the reason you got to do that is if you don't, it is not going to serve you. It is not going to serve you. So you want that when that thing that you are doing or you're having or wanting, God has to be in the midst. And I'm learning as I get more vintage, older, more wiser, is you got to pray. You have to pray on it. So if you want a new job, pray on it and say, God, is this the right job for me? Is this job going to serve me? Is this job going to connect me with the right people? Is this job going to sustain me as a person and as a being? Is this new partner going to love and honor me? You should be praying about that before you meet them, though, um, so that when it does come, it's already aligned up and you don't have to pray on it. But pray on it. Pray on it. Go to God in prayer and ask God to align and direct and to open the doors that are to be open and to close the doors that are to be closed. To send the right people at the right time. To open the right doors of opportunity at the right time. To gift you and to bless you with what you are needing to, in order for that thing or whatever it is to happen. Pray on it. If you're going to leave one job and go to another job, pray on it. Because you can find yourself, everything that glitters does not go. My mother says, used to say that and still says that all the time. So let's, I'm going to use job as the example. You have, you're in a situation where you're not happy at the job that where you are. So you're looking for a new job. And you come across a job that appears to be exactly what you're looking for. Checks all the boxes. You leave the other job and you go to the new job. Everything that glitters does not go, remember? So <laughs> you go to the new job. You're there the first month. Everything seem, things to be, seems to be going great. Everyone's friendly. Everyone is kind. Everyone is loving. Um, they open you with welcome arms. Um, everything seems to be great. And then you get, where well, you're getting soaked in. You're getting, it's marinating now. And you see, it's the same thing. It's the same thing you just left. But there's more drama. There's more backbiting. There's more putting more work on you. And everyone else is laughing and kikiing. So now you've gotten yourself into a situation where you've left, left the pot and you've jumped right into the fire. So pray, if you had prayed on it, 
or if you pray on it before, God is going to tell you if that's the right job for you or the right relationship for you or the right thing for you. If you leave in one thing and go into another or however it is that whatever is going on, if you pray on it, God is always going to give you the right answer. The, your job, and I always say this, is to listen. Listen to God's direction. Listen to God's voice by being still and listening and being obedient. So pray on it before you make a move, before you make a decision, before you go and do something that you're going to regret. And find yourself way back or it may be in a worse situation. I know people who are in a relationship and things aren't going well. They're not doing going well at all. And sometimes people have to depart from each other. But I'm talking about a relationship where things are just not going well. Neither one of them are happy. And one of the other one person decides that they're going to start looking elsewhere. And one of them starts cheating and then goes to be with the other person. And they're visiting the other person. So, yes, everything looks great. Of course everything's going to look great because they're showing their good, true, excuse me, their their good side, their uh, weekend. I call it the weekend side. So you're only seeing them, the pretty side of them. But when... Uh, my mother has another saying, when you live with someone, you know someone. It's a different story. So now you've left something that you had the potential to work on if, if you put the energy into that. Now you've left that. Now you go into another situation, and it's worse than the one that you left. But you can't go back to the other one. So what do you do now? You got to figure out to make this work or you got to start over. So I say that to say, pray on it. And you that you never get anywhere when you do that. Because any person that leaves one relationship and jumps from one into the other for someone, it, it's never going to work right. Because that person is never going to trust the other person. So that you don't want to find yourself in that kind of situation. If you're thinking about doing something like that, my suggestion would be if you have to leave that person because it's not going anywhere, leave that person and go on your own and work on yourself. You don't leave for another person and jump into another person. You didn't heal. You didn't process so you got to find time for healing. You got to find time for self-love. You got to find time to connect with God. So pray on it. But if you are doing your praying, pray on it first. Pray on it first. You got to pray. Put in the comment section, pray on it. I'm praying on it first before I make a move. Put in the comment section, I am putting prayer with God in the forefront. And I'm doing that first. Pray on it first. And when you pray, God is going to give you that answer. And he's going to give you the right answer. And you're going to have to be obedient. You're going to have to listen to God. So before you do anything, make any major decision, make any major move, any you want to move from another state, one state to another state, pray on it. And God is going to show you if you're to move from one state to another. So, again, pray on it, and God's going to give it to you. Clear and crystal. And tell him, God, make it so clear and so evident that I don't have to question. Because sometimes we won't, he'll give us an answer, but we really don't understand it. Then tell him. I need you to make this crystal clear. Am I to move from New York to North Carolina? Is this the right move for me? 
is this the right place that I when when I move is everything going to unfold for me what is it that I need to do what is it that I um, is this the right decision for me if the doors open easily then Lord I know it's the right thing if there is stumbling blocks then I know it's not for me and then uh, just accept that and stay where in New York where you are or if things just open up and God just opens those doors and things just easily fall into place or you get a phone call or you you hear a message and it's literally screaming at you the answer that you've been looking for then there's your there's your God he's telling you um so pray on it first and God is going to give you every desire he's going to give you all the answers he always does we just have to listen so kingdom what are you praying on comment in the comment section and let me know what you're praying on stay blessed stay loved be a blessing to someone else thank you i appreciate you and most of all god loves you more than anything in this world you have a wonderful day